What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave, and we're gonna watch the battle. Yep, here we go. <laughs> it's Zoro versus Urza. Urza? I don't know her name. I don't watch Fairy Tale. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> but I do know Zoro, and I am hoping Zoro wins. And judging by the like to dislike bar, I'm guessing he does win. <laughs> so let's play in three, two, one, go! Sorry, I have to do that like every time just to make sure I can sync up the audio with the video when I'm actually editing. Because you don't want me, you don't want to hear me go, Whoa, that was brutal! Like 10 seconds before something actually happens, right? <laughs> so, I have to make sure everything's synced up. Okay, it is Urza, not Erza. <laughs> Because if it was an A, it would be Arza. So if it's E, it could be Erza or Urza. But if it was an A, it would be Arza. Yeah. Yay, Zoro first. I like his big eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I really like the style of One Piece. It's very goofy looking. Well, it is a pretty goofy anime, and I love it. Mm -hmm. All the girls look the same. Except that fat pirate lady at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And Zoro lost. Oh. <laughs> Fell down some stairs. He's got that weight in his mouth, prepping for using the swords. After Kuina's death, Zoro inherited her sword and used it to hone his skills even further. Eventually leaving the dojo in search of the current title holder of World's Greatest Swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. Yeah, Zoro gets lost a lot. Monkeys! At this point, he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became... <laughs> they had to blur out the logo, so they didn't get caught for copyright. Nice. Also called three sword style, because he uses three swords! One in each hand, and one in the mouth. Freaking mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz. Badasses don't care about safety. Exactly. Regardless, with the three sword style, Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including the Onigiri, where he's. I like to imagine that if he, like, sneeze, like, if he's fighting someone and then he sneezes, he, like, accidentally cuts off his arm because his head goes forward, like, ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I'm bleeding. Oh, uh, Boomstick actually pronounced Tatsumaki correctly. He's learned from the Street Fighter episodes. Wait! Did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? How the hell did he do that? It's just no. an illusion, but it still somehow has physical presence. Mm -hmm. He's like a human slap chop with a total of nine swords. That's one way to put it. In addition to his skills with the blade, Zoro is able to use hockey. A mysterious Hockey. power that every living being possesses. Like Chaka or Ki like or Chi or whatever you want to call it. Hockey, much like Neapolitan ice cream, mm. in three flavors. And Zoro only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? I... What? I, I don't even... Well, one of those <laughs> flavors is observation hockey. That's vanilla. Oh, yay. Vanilla's my favorite. In some ways is similar to Spider-Man's Spidey Sense. Zoro can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible or far away. Yep. And can also predict most opponents. Like the Byakugan. Chocolate, everyone's favorite hockey from Naruto. Naruto, Naruto, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't get butt hurt over people making wrong pronunciations. I'm not that kind of anime weeaboo. Weird <laughs> adventures. Like that time, Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and mm -hmm. slashed him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. 
Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed Ooh. hydrogen bomb. The 11 megaton Castle Rome. Megatons. Yes, megatons is always a good thing. If you hear a megaton, then you're like, oh yeah, that character's strong. And when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even past the point of bleeding out. Thus, he's powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... Oh yeah. All this scene. Ugh. Holy shit! How the hell is he still <laughs> That's a good mm. question. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his own pain from near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told that doing so would surely kill him. But it just didn't. He yep. doesn't even brag about it. What a badass. Zoro is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. Mm -hmm. He's lost without someone there literally reading the map for him. And could never he probably couldn't find his way to the gas station. You might think Zoro would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. I set sail for only one reason, to meet you. <laughs> His face looks really weird at that angle, I'm sorry. <laughs> to beat you. <sighs> Urza Scarlet grew up in a small rural town called Rosemary Village. I'm head bobbing right now. I mean, fairy tales clearly not my favorite. Not even close. But at least the music's good. Puppy dog! Bubbles! A murderous cult attacked, destroyed the city, and enslaved the children to build a tower to oh, yeah. their evil overlord. There it is. Young Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost her in the process, Ew, child torture. No, friend. that's bad. Fernandez. Don't do that. He actually gave Urza her last name, Scarlet. Wait, did he say Fernandez or Hernandez? She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering her Wait, if she lost an eye, how does she have an eye as an adult? Not everyone made it out. Maybe they'll explain it. Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and she had to go without him. Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you. But you'll have to go alone. That dude sounds like a girl. I mean, I know girls play child characters all the time that are guys, but at least they try and sound like him. Good grief. great skill set for a maid. Her main thing is requip magic, which is basically like Ooh, one a sword. Do it all times without having to look Big around. deal. Requip magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will, meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and outfits all in one fight without ever really slowing down. Oh, okay then. Never mind. It's like 80 swords then. She's rumored to have access to as many as 100 sets of armor and 200 weapons. Uh, 200 swords, I meant. 200 swords, yeah. Her go-to is the <laughs> There's also the heaven's wheel Ooh. where she can send swords flying at people. Hey, you could have a, a waifu without being a fan of her show, right? Which have wings. Oh. Right? Sure you can. Sure you can. Purgatory armor which has a lot of spikes and seduction armor. Oh my. Yeah. Never tried to fight with an erection wheel. Believe me, it's not easy. <laughs> right. Well, Urza claims her most powerful armor is the armadura. Uh, hopefully she dies though, because Zoro's cool. These are fancy and all, but sometimes hmm. she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense, and channels all her magical energy. Yeah, but she's half naked, so she'll, she'll die. Blow. Just like her other her armor. To perform all sorts of magical attacks, even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including mm -hmm. hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition to the Fairy Tale Guild. But what are what are her actual feats? Okay, there we go. Was the youngest member to ever pass the S class mage promotion test. I was like, what's her speed? What did she destroy? Only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's mm -hmm. pretty freaking strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This okay. cube was about a hundred million cubic miles in volume. 
to punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Mm. I think Zoro's still stronger, though. Blank from a flintlock pistol. Guns with a muzzle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. Right. Many of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, mm. etc. She survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering Ooh. that island's size, that's an explosion equivalent to two kilotons of TNT. So she's sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shit of weapons. She's basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Still having, still have having the waifu summer, fantasies. Them in and out requires magic, and she <laughs> can down if she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those fantasy games you always play. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> even when she oh, dude, Wiz, you just showed your geek. In hand to hand. Like when she fought her alternate self from another parallel. Good universe. grief. That universe has a lot less clothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but when you're the best, <laughs> you know, I will stand any physical pain <laughs> to protect the ones that I love. <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and Sorry. for all. Sorry. It's time for Go Zoro. <laughs> hmm. Those are some very awkward walking sounds. Wait, where are they? Are they like in a... Where? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where they are. It, the background looks familiar. I'm busy. Maybe later. Looks really familiar, but I can't put my mind on it. Well, I guess we're doing this now. Well, oh well, I'll just pay attention to the fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Three swords against one, you're outmatched. And there goes the house. Tons of property damage. They're gonna sue you. Correction, they're going to sue both of you. Come on, Zoro. Come on. Can you leave the houses alone? People live there. Oh, fire. <laughs> Quick, Urza, stand behind him. He won't know where you are or how to find you. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, good. He deflected it. Good work. You are strong, pirate. But this is uh... Good grief. Now you destroyed all the grass. Oh no! No 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 no. Fool. Nothing is worse than the loss of life. Fake out? Fake out Yes, fake out! Fake out! What? Zoro's gonna win. Ooh! Fancy sprite work. I like that. I can do this. They pulled a fake out, so Zoro's obviously gonna win now. <laughs> oh yeah. Quick, kill the friendship! Yeah! <laughs> friendship is dead! You. Where the hell is that shipyard? Zoro, it's it's the other way. It was literally ten feet away from you. To the shipyard, Zoro. To the shipyard. Projectiles flying over five hundred miles per hour. But Zoro can move faster than the eye could see. Mm -hmm, which is much US quicker. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in one two hundred twentieth of a second. Indeed. So in this Hence why Epo beat Little Mac in my episode. <laughs> Epo could beat. Epo was on par with Miata, who could move faster than the eye, and Max Fest's opponent could run with a bullet train and all that. So Epo's quicker. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. 
evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Indeed. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, lots of really, really suggestive defense. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. Mm -hmm. That's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. Yeah. He also had that habit of stripping down to clear heart clothing in a bind. He can see it happening, but he can't stop it. Power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but... Like if a train is coming at you at full speed, but only 10 feet away from you, you'll see the train coming, but you won't be able to do anything. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up-close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Mm-hmm. Yes, she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. The winner is Roranoa Zoro. Woo! Next time Next time. Next time. Those noises are really offbeat. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> oh, people are gonna be mad. People don't seem to like it when Death Battle brings back old fighters. Eventually, they're gonna run out of interesting ones, guys. So you gotta understand it. I mean, they—it's their show. They can do whatever they want with the fighters, but they can bring back whoever they want. But oh boy! Especially Deadpool, because people consider his last fight, not many, but lots do consider it wrong or something. I don't know. But Deadpool's coming back. I wonder who's going to be fighting. I wonder who he's going to be fighting. But yay, Zoro. Congrats on winning. Yay. The cringe didn't win, but at least the cringe was a good potential waifu. I can look at the waifu without having to deal with the cringe. Yay. Goodbye.